defeaturization. Overkill? Yes, definitely. Necessary to prove my point? No, of course not. But I did it anyway. Cause, yeah. But my point is, this was a perfectly good charger for both two and three cell lipos until some idiot in marketing for whatever China, in China, in China made this for some representative in marketing for in China said, hey, maybe we could make more money if we took off the two cell plug and sold this as a three cell charger and then sold it again with the three cell plug taken off as a two cell charger. I don't like that. It's stupid. And I hate it because like the feature was there and then you took it away from me. So I'm going to get it back. This is a two cell charger plug. It's attached to a USB thing that I don't want. So I'm going to cut this off here and then just solder it onto the three terminals for ground for 4.2 volts and 8.4 volts. And then I'll have the product as it was intended to be with both functionality for charging two cells and three cells. And that'll be pretty nice, hopefully. And I did it. It's also not actually a terrible soldering job. It does look kind of out of place, the one surface mount connector and the one on the long string, but it works. So now let's put it back in. And there it is. It doesn't look great with the big hole in the front and the one thing on the long string. Actually, it looks kind of awful, but it works, and that's the point. I am the Summoner of Robots. This is the Refeature Charger. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. You know, one way they could have cut the costs instead of defeaturing this would be only using one length of screw to hold it together.